JavaScript closures in one minute. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. The classic explanation for closures is a function inside another function that has access to the outer function scope, whatever the f that means. Say you have two buttons and they both change the body size to a different number. I could write the logic twice or I could write the logic once and pass it to the buttons. The problem is my function needs to know which button was clicked. It needs the parameter and I can't do this because now I'm invoking the function and getting the return value, which is undefined. We're not returning anything yet. Instead, I can convert the function into a factory function that returns a closure that has access to the parameter in its parent. The magic here is that the outer function was already executed long before the click actually happens by the user, but the closure, aka the inner function, sticks around and remembers the value of the size. And that happens for each button separately. Longer explanation with more